welcome back in this module today we'll be seeing blockchain in depth we have gone through the definition of blockchain the history of blockchain and a small story describing blockchain today we'll be focusing on the key terms which we have discussed in definition in blockchain in much more detail and what is the difference between the current transactional database and blockchain what integrity what security and how blockchain introduces all them in this technology that is known as blockchain so let's begin our journey for blockchain in depth so today we will be focusing on blockchain in depth we'll be seeing certain key terms and concepts of blockchain so to move forward the very question which comes in our mind is why blockchain is required what is the need of blockchain why do we actually need it as we have seen in the definition of blockchain blockchain is like a database which is storing the data so what differentiates blockchain with traditional databases can't the work which was done by traditional databases like sql oracle be done can't the work which was done with sql and oracle is justified why do we actually need blockchain what is the need of it so the question which the term which answers this question that why do we need it is the integrity of data is somehow compromised in the transactional database the transactional database does not give us the integrity of the data for example let us think of the movie which you must have seen that is khosla ka ghosla what happened in khosla ka ghosla in khosla ka ghosla the same person who was actually the owner of a land he was not knowing what happened to his land and it was sold to the third party who was not the actual owner me someone else sold his land so there was a dispute in the land what was the reason behind the dispute the reason behind the dispute was currently what is happening is that the record is stored in a transactional database system and conventional database a transactional database system is there which is storing the record that who is the owner of the land some person who is not trusted and we can say who is mischievous he does the changes in that data and because of that changes in the data this type of fraud happens and these are the frauds which are happening oftenly in our country second situation let us assume that a covid vaccine has to be transported from say serum institute for, from pune to calcutta when this covid vaccine is being transported temperature plays an important role so during the whole transportation system the sensors are there which is keeping the record that how much temperature is being maintained during the transportation and during the storage but when the vaccine was applied suppose we are just supposing it it is not giving the results what was expected so what is the lack now the lack may be that it the vaccines are not transported with the required temperature though the sensors were there which were keeping the record of the temperature now who is to blame are the sensors to be blamed when the inquiry is being set up we are assuming this when the inquiry is being set up the database is being searched where the records are being kept it is found that the temperatures are there which in the limit of the range in the required range then what was the flaw the flaw was because the driver who was driving the truck who was which was carrying the vaccine he unknowingly switched off the refrigerators and the records in the sample sensors were recorded that it has elevated in the temperature but when the record in the sensors were there that it was elevated it has 
surpass the required temperature somehow the driver requested the third person and he hacked the database and he changed the database of the sensors where the sensor where the sensors were keeping the data and he put the correct temperature in the database so the fraud was done in the recording of the database so this is the flaw in the current transactional database that we can easily manipulate it someone can easily hack it and it could be changed so what does blockchain provide us blockchain provides us integrity of the data it is difficult to change the data which is recorded in the blockchain the concept of the data the value of the data is difficult to change which is recorded in the block so now in the coming module in the video today we'll be seeing what is a transaction what is the structure of a block how this data is recorded so let's move forward to see that what is a transaction and what is the structure of the data being stored in a block a question arise in our mind that are the transactions of blockchain different from the current transactional database system no the transactions are same like in a current transactional database system asset property has to be maintained similarly in the blockchain the asset property has to be maintained the consistency the concurrency of the data is maintained it is using the higher concurrency systems in blockchain we are using a higher concurrency system now what is are those we will be seeing it but the transactions are same for example we say that in a supply chain management system of this covid vaccine the vaccine is being produced it is being transported from one place to another place this is a transaction it can be recorded in the conventional database also it can be recorded in a blockchain also so the transactions are same the way it is being stored the way it is being secured is different so higher concurrency systems are applied so we will be seeing it but it is the same transactions what we talked about in conventional database system what we have studied basically we have not dealt with conventional database system in this course but what you have studied in conventional database system the transaction means the same thing any operation which is to be recorded in the database is a transaction for example mr x is giving 100 rupees to mr y that is a transaction i am purchasing something from someone that is a transaction the land registry registrar is writing something in his system that this land now belongs to him so that is a transaction these transactions are grouped together and they are recorded in a block how they are recorded what is the structure of the block we will be seeing now let's move forward transaction is and structure of a block over here where you can see on the cursor on my screen that this area represents a block in a blockchain these are some of the key fields which are recorded in a block not limited to only these key fields but these are some of the key fields what are the key fields which are there in a block one is a previous block previous block means the address of the previous block over here the address of the previous block is also hashed over here the cryptographic algorithm which is used is sha256 which we will be telling in the coming modules that what is this cryptographic algorithm for the time being you can assume that this is a secure cryptographic algorithm so this previous block field contains the hash of the previous block nonce is a random number which is generated and stored in the block which is used to generate the hash of the block coming back to the concept which we are dealing today is transaction suppose in a bitcoin a new block joins after 10 minutes 
so in those 10 minutes whatever transactions has taken place they will be combined together and it would be stored as a tree the root of that tree is hashed and the hash root is stored in the block we call it a transactional root hash this tree is a Merkley tree the root of this Merkley tree is stored in the block and the transactions are linked with this tree the leaves of the tree are the states so the transactions which are taking place basically as in the trans as in a transactional database we are storing the states so leaves are storing the states and the child nodes are storing the hashes and the root is hashed which is stored in the block this gives the integrity to the data this is how the integrity to the data is being achieved by storing it in a hashed way by storing it in a mercury structure we achieve the integrity how concurrency is achieved we'll be seeing afterwards so this is the structure this is another block what is important in blockchain is that the next block joins with the previous block using this previous block hash and the above figure over here we can represent it as a ledger one block another block joining with the all the blocks and the first block is known as a genesis block so in all blockchains whether it is a bitcoin whether it is an ethereum the same type of a structure is followed it may differ from platform to platform but the basic structure remains the same the header of the block the components of the block changes from platform to platform we'll be seeing further the architecture of a bitcoin block in this video today the main concept is that it stores the previous block hash the norms and the list of the transactions in the form of a tree which is stored as a Merkley tree hash is stored in the block itself which gives the integrity to the user's data this is how the integrity is achieved and it differentiates from the transactional database so we will see the architecture of the block and then we will stop on the architecture of the block today so what is the architecture of a block the image in front of you describes the architecture of a bitcoin block a blockchain node consists of a block header and the transactions we have already talked about the transactions a blockchain nodes consist of the header a header consists of the version of the blockchain platform for example bitcoin 1.0 bitcoin 2.0 whatever platform protocol version bitcoin is a protocol ethereum is a protocol so whatever version of the protocol we are dealing with the platform we are dealing with it is stored in the blockchain header the merkley tree root we have already seen is stored the time stem the time at which the transaction happened the block was created is a stored the difficulty levels is stored the number of bits of difficulty the previous block hash and the nonce so having seen this we can conclude that what is the difference between the normal transactional database and a blockchain database how the transaction is different and what is the structure of a transactional and the blockchain header thank you